Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I'm a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict. And I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. This is a yarn and crochet channel where we talk about all things yarn and all things crochet. So if that interests you, please sit back and watch this video because today my friends, I offer you something new. So as the title of this video suggests, Premier Yarns just launched our brand new line of yarns called Fable. So here are three of the five that I have, and here are the other two. So all five are right here out of the 10 that they offer. So I'm gonna show you these yarns up close and personal. We're gonna go through all the things. I'm gonna take you to the tutorial table. You're gonna get a bird's eye look at these yarns. You're gonna see all the squishiness and all the fun that it provides us. And then I'm going to take us to the website. We're gonna look at the other five colorways that I do not have. And then finally, I'm gonna show you a make. So yes, I made something with these yarns already and I think you're gonna love it. So let's dig in. First, I wanna show you this colorway, which I think is gonna be my favorite, Gnome. It's very bold. It's got the pops of color that I'm looking for. This is the colorway here. It offers orange, yellow, blue, and purple. I love that. Next, we have Mermaid. If you're a fan of the pink and all the shades, you're gonna love this. There's white, there's some shades of pink, and then we have like a baby blue into like a sky blue. Next we have Dragon. So like a lime green. We have purple, blue, a gold color. And this is what this colorway looks like. That's nice. I wonder what it looks like online compared to what we see here. I'm curious. I haven't looked yet at the website to see because it literally just dropped. Next we have a colorway called Nessie. So my friends, this is all things blue with just a pop of white. Okay. And last but not least, we have Pixie. So Pixie is the blue, the white, the orange with just a smidge of the pink. And that is what that looks like worked up. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over to the tutorial table. We're gonna get a close up look at these yarns and I'm gonna show you some of the features that it has and I'm gonna talk the specs and all the things at the tutorial table, okay? So I shall see you guys on the other side. Okay friends, so we're here at the tutorial table and I'm going to show you all the things. So this colorway here um, is Dragon. And I really like the lime, the pink, the purple, the blue, the gold. I like all the colors the way that they run together. I've already been picking at this and playing with it. I've already been pulling it apart to see all the things. Just to dig deep and explore a little bit. So what this is, is it's string wrapped around the yarn, which I think is really clever because it gives it its own unique look. I really dig that, that's awesome. And it's super squishy and soft, which is nice. So again, this one here is called Dragon. It's 131 yards, 120 meters, seven ounces, 200 grams, it's 90 acrylic and 10 polyester. It's a super bulky six. And the recommended hook size is a 10 millimeter US letter N as in Nancy. And if you're using knitting needles, it is a 10 millimeter US 15. Okay. The washing instructions are machine wash cold, tumble dry, low heat. Awesome. So no lay flat to dry. You can throw it in the dryer, which is perfect. We love that. So that one was Dragon. This one here is called Pixie. So let's look in here. So it's looking like there's pink, white, orange, this teal color here, and blue. The blend is amazing. I really like the way those colors play off of each other in this instance. And the white string just gives it that extra flair. That's super, super cool. Yeah, I like that. Okay. 
Let's look at this next one here, which this one here is Nessie. So if you love blue, if blue is your thing, this is for you. It has all the blues with just little itty bitty pops of white. I think, maybe not, no. So, no, because look at the string, the string is white. So this is just the ever so faint hue of like a sky baby blue. Wow. Yeah, it's all blue, no white, even though at first glance it gives you, you know, that white vibe there. Hmm. Interesting. Let's look at the other end here. Okay, nice, Nessie. Okay, next we have Mermaid. So, pink and blue. It's very whimsical, this whole color story here. You have bubblegum pink, and then you have this watermelon color, which is amazing. And then you have this very, very beautiful um, hue of like a sky blue, and then a baby blue, like a powder blue maybe. And then of course you have, you have white there. And let's see. Interesting. I like that. Okay. And then I saved the last one for, for the best here, in my opinion. <laughs> this is my, my favorite one of the bunch. So this one here is called Gnome. Yep. It's got that beautiful, beautiful hue of purple in it. Look at that. That's so, so, so good. Yep. And then we have the orange, we have the bold yellow, the nice solid blue, almost giving a tie-dye effect, which is pretty decent. Yeah, look at that. Nice tie-dye look. Yeah. And all the stats are the same, obviously. But yeah, okay. So what I wanna do now, now that I've shown you the five, I wanna take us over to the Premier Yarns website and let's look at the other colorways. Let's see what else they have to offer, okay? So I'll see you back at the other room. One second. Okay, friends, so here we are at premieryarns.com, and the main screen, as you can imagine, is Premier Fable, and this here is another colorway that uh, they offer. So let's go ahead and click Shop Now. And let's just take a look at all these colorways. So this one right here is called Sprite. And let's look at what this looks like. So all pastel colors, which is perfect for the time of year that we're about to go into. So look at that. Oh yeah. That's super nice. All the stitch definition that you could ask for. And like I said, that um, string that's wrapped around the yarns really gives it a unique look. So let's look at, okay, so this is Mermaid. Let's take a closer look here. Okay. Next we have Fairy. So this is a pink paradise situation here, all things pink. I mean, even to the, this light section right here. I mean, I would imagine even the light sections there are like a powder, a powder pink. Wow. Okay. So Nessie is the blue version of what we just saw of the pink. We saw that all up close and personal. So that one was nice. Let's see, that's Dragon. We saw that one in the other room. Interesting. I like how that looks here. And then Gnome, which is one of my favorites. Look how bold that is. That's so nice. And here's Unicorn. Look at that. It's giving Easter vibes. 
springtime madness. Oh yeah, this is all the all the pastels that you could ask for. And again, that white string just gives it a whole level of an effect, which is amazing. We saw Pixie, we saw Dragon. Um, here's Elf. This is another colorway they offer. So we have a white, purple, a watermelon color, a vibrant orange, and a lime color. But this is like a super light version of a lime, which is great. And this is what it looks like knitted up. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so the colorways that we haven't seen up close and personal would be this elf and it would be the unicorn. So wait, the elf, the unicorn, um, let's see, fairy, sprite, wait, we saw no mermaid, fairy, Pegasus, this is the other one. Okay, look at that. Solid, I mean, vibrant purple there. The watermelon color, and then here we have like a coral color. That's so, so nice. And look at the presentation of that skein. It's just perfection, chef's kiss. So... Yeah, that is all of the colorways they're offering for Fable. Um, the price point is $8.99. Um, let's see, what does it say? This is a number six super bulky yarn with a blend of acrylic and polyester boasting unmatched softness with a single ply construction wrapped with a unique crisscross effect. Not just pretty, it's practical. Make a mistake, no worries. The crisscross binder holds in those loose strands, making it easier to restart your project. Well, that's great. The Fable collection of colors is a bright and bold and stitches up so fast, you don't have to worry about adding to your pile of whips. Works in progress. And since each color is a combination of five stripes, you can just keep stitching since you will have fewer ends to weave when you're done. Well, that is great. It seems like it's low maintenance, which is great. Okay, so, Let's move on to the next portion of this, which is, let me show you my make. So I shall see you on the other side, friends. Okay, friends, we are back in the studio here and I'd like to show you uh, my make. But before I show you my make, I'd like to show you a whip. So I took the dragon uh, colorway here, this, and I started a project while editing this video. I was inspired with the colors and I said, you know what, let me start another project. So this here, my friends, is a corner to corner centerpiece. And then I began working the modern granny around the edges. So the modern granny is single crochet, chain two, single crochet going around and then after that row you'll go back around and do your granny clusters in the chain spaces and you'll just continue doing that and in the corners you're doing two double crochets chain two two double crochets in the corners and by doing that all of your granny clusters will line up in a row so all of this took one skein about this big right with this much left over. So this is a whip. I plan on ordering a whole bunch more to continue on with this project. I used my prim hook, letter N, and I believe that is what the ball band is suggesting. Yep, 10 millimeter US letter N, right there on the end there. So that's what this is. It was seamless. It was a lot of fun to work. I thought the string was going to get caught on the hook and I thought it was going to be, you know, very touch and go, but it was very seamless. It was lots of fun and it works out super nice. I would imagine once I put more rows on this with the same colorway, um, it's just going to tell a whole story of its own. I can't wait. So. 
be on the lookout for this. I'm going to place my order. Uh, I'm going to order more. And for you guys, if you guys are interested in trying this out, um, the link is in the description box. Um, it is an affiliate link, so it doesn't cost you anything to use it. But if you do use it, I get a little kickback that I funnel into the channel. So, let me show you my completed project, my make. <laughs> and here we have it, a ditty bag. So I have the whole tutorial already on my channel. This entire um, project was completed using one skein, one skein of Fable. And let me pull this out. <laughs> I used it to store another skein of Fable. And so yeah, let me just walk you through this. So for the bottom, the base, it's four rounds. And it's 10 stitches to start with of the half double crochet. So it's 10, 20, 30, and 40, right? So uh, 40 in the fourth round there. And then I did a round of crab stitches, which is what you see here, right? And then, when coming out of the crab stitch, I went ahead and did front post half double crochets to kind of get out of that and start building up. And the formula goes like this, friends. However many rounds you do at the base, you multiply that by three, and that's how many rounds you do on the side. So I did four on the bottom, times that by three, and I did 12 rows going down. After the 12th row, I went ahead and did a row of windows. After the row of windows, I did one row of the half double crochet, and then I took all of what I had left and I made the string. And it literally took 131 yards to make. End to end, zero waste, 131 yards. And I used letter M. So if you're into the ditty bags, my friends, there's tons of people making these. This took me less than an hour to make using this hook and one skein of Premier Fable. There's 10 colorways to choose from, my friends. Go onto the website, get yourself a skein, and you can make yourself a ditty bag. It's super nice. And it, you don't have to do the crab stitch if you don't want to. You can literally jump from the base and just do a whole round of front post uh, half double crochets, and you'll start working on the side. So there's that. And I would imagine that if you skipped out of the crab stitch, you'll have more string to work with. So instead of doubling it up like I did, you can actually go ahead and do your chain, as is in the tutorial. I obviously didn't do that because I wanted to make sure that I had an adequate chain. So yeah, that was the modification. I did not chain for the, the drawstring here. I just literally took what I had left, I folded it in half, and then I knotted it on the end. And I didn't trim it because I wanted you to see it was exactly 131 yards that I used for this project. So I'm super proud of myself. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. I thought it was going to be yarn chicken. I thought all the things. But super proud of myself. I can take a skein and put it in the bag here. Just use that as an example, okay? So yes, if you like this review, my friends, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We talk and do all the things here on this channel. And then of course, hit that bell to stay updated with me and my channel. So that is it for this video. And until the next one, guys, take care. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.